cute they are! Is that cute? There's like a whole nice big litter of them. Yeah, they're cute. That is cute. That is a wonderful, cute way to start this Friday. Oh, and it's Friday, by the way. Uh, today, uh, I think I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. I probably did. Also, and short hair. Feels weird. Um, we are going to be going to rental agencies and talking to them about finding a place to rent. To rent. So. We're gonna give that a shot, and hopefully that'll work out. We got a list of like eight places, so we're gonna just start at the, the top and work our way down. I mapped them in order last night, so try to be as efficient as possible, and we're just gonna hope that we have some luck today. So, onward to the first place. We've been to more than the first one since I updated. We're actually eating lunch now, Chick-fil-A. Um, we went to the first one, then we went to the, the first one didn't have anything. Went to the second one. The second, we actually went to the wrong offices, so we have to go to the second one later. Went to the third one, they didn't have anything. Fourth one didn't, for, no, fourth one was the wrong offices too. Fifth one didn't have anything. And we have a few more to see. Um, I'm learning something interesting. Whenever you're looking for an apartment, you want to go as early as possible. And they have the, inf the lease information so they know who's moving out. But with everything else, they look at you like you're crazy because we've been getting here, you know, we still have like, a month and a half, two months before we need to move into this place. So we figure by giving it enough time, that's a good thing. But apparently when doing townhouses, condos, and houses, it's a bad thing. And they want you to be doing it the same month. They only want you to give like two weeks notice, and we're giving them too much notice. And they're like, oh, you need to check back in July. And I'm like, but we're going to need to move in July. That seems backwards to me. Right? You agree? Okay, well... Anyway, that's the way it's working, but we do have one, we haven't seen any places today because we've only just talked to people and they were all like, we don't have any place. But there's one person, what company was that through? Do you even know? Yes, but it's not any you have on the list. Oh, okay. Well, it's some company. Uh, we did set up a, uh, a viewing, a viewing for a townhouse and uh, we got to be there in like under an hour. So we, we will get to at least see one property today. Well, we went to the place where we could actually go in and look at it and the the agent met us and we we looked around and the place itself was actually pretty cool it was the second and third floor of this townhouse so like you open the door and you go up the steps and then there's your first floor which is the second floor and then you go up the other set of steps and it's the third floor the problem was it's kind of in a really crappy part of town like I don't know kind of scary part of town like across the street from the place was like this business like storefront and like all the, the windows were smashed in and stuff and we're like ah, <laughs> so we're not really really into that the good news was uh, when we talked to the agent she gave us the name of another agent who works at a different company and they have a, another place um, that's actually a lot bigger than what we were looking for but it's a pretty good price and we just called them and we can meet them at three which is an hour so um, gonna go there and maybe maybe take video of that if it looks halfway promising but uh, I guess we're gonna go do that and also I got an eye migraine which is fantastic so I'm um, I'm pretty much well I can't say I'm pretty much blind now it, it was really quick it came on me like really fast and it was right it was near the center and but now it's like opening up but the center isn't filled it's like it's kind of hard to explain. If you don't know what an eye migraine is, I basically go blind every once in a while. It's been a while since I had one, but now it's kind of on the outside, which is why I'm, I'm letting Mallory drive because I was blind, but now it's kind of going away, so I don't know. Once we get to where we're going, I might I might start driving again because I think I'll be all right. Anyway, more apartment hunting stuff. Man, a stinking bust. Stinking bust. We went over to that other place that they advertised the other person told us about we we went over there and looked in it and it was not worth videotaping because when we got there really big really good price we're like oh man this is really cool and uh and mao asked you know it's pet friendly right and she goes yeah you can have a small dog and we're like oh, okay well um we we're we were gonna have two cats and she goes oh no cats and we go no cats she goes no absolutely no cats we were like, why? And she's like, none of our properties are cat friendly. I said, but 
it's dog friendly? She said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, okay. I said, would it be considered? She said, no. No, none of our properties can have cats. You can have a dog if it's a small dog. And I'm thinking, I mean, wh why? <laughs> like, like why, why can you have a dog but not a cat? Like, that's like prejudice towards cats. <laughs> Cat, cat prejudice. It just seems kind of weird. Because, like, what's the difference between a small dog and a cat? I mean, I, I don't, I really, like, I, I really don't understand. Anyway, so, um, I mean, we walked through it, but we were like, you know what? I'm sorry, but we can't do this. We, because we want to have a cat, two cats. And she was like, uh, I'm sorry. She's like, yeah, I wish I could help you guys, but none of our properties are cat friendly. And I'm like, do you specialize in, in properties that aren't cat friendly? Like, what the heck is that? Anyway, so yeah, that was a bust. And uh, at the end of the day, nothing. We went to a lot of places. The biggest thing was that we were just too early and that we should check back in July, which in my mind is not enough time, but whatever. So yeah, right now we have the place that we got the other day, which, I mean, we would like to change. We also got an email from uh, the property manager of the place that we rented the other day. Or, or have reserved or whatever. And he said, hey, just thought I should let you know, um, the the apartment that I'm giving you guys, yeah, that was rented earlier that morning and it, you don't actually have it. So I had to move you into something else. And we're like, oh, good, great, wonderful. Because we were going to be on the third floor. And he's like, I put you in a second floor unit. I, just email me back if that's okay. And I'm thinking, that's not okay. We wanted to be on the third floor, so we'd be on the top. But yeah, okay, so... um. Even the place that we thought we had, we don't have. It's been it's been a week, and um, I mean, you know, I, I'm not really sure what to do. I, I think we might cancel the place that we have, but then I'm worried because what if we don't find another place? So I don't know. It's just been it's been hard. So anyway, we're gonna probably get some some dinner here soon, and then I think we're just gonna go back to Columbia tonight because there's no reason to stay. We looked at tons of places today, and there's just no luck. If only we could be as carefree as he. I wanted to add a quick little anecdote about this cup because uh, this is uh, this is a funny story. Oh no! This, this is, is this is a this is a really good story. As you may recall, the other night I caught a frog and released him outside. I did so in an orange cup, and when I was done, I put it in the sink because things in the sink are generally declared dirty. They get put into the dishwasher. It was late at night. I didn't want to put it in the dishwasher, so I put it in the sink. It was the only thing in the sink. Unbeknownst to myself... At my 5.30 in the morning is when I got up. 5.30 in the morning, my mom wakes up. My mom apparently drinks from these orange cups. She thought that the cup that she was drinking out of last night, she, she left out. Apparently my father had already washed it and put it in the dishwasher. I had gotten this new orange cup, and it was in... The, uh, the sink. My mom took the cup out of the sink, filled it with water, and drank from it. Uh, she was not aware that there was a f I had just captured a frog in it. So my mom drank from a frog cup. And I just found out today when I watched your vlog. Yeah, she, only, she was watching the vlog and was like, oh wait. <laughs> yep, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I obvious, obviously I wouldn't have done that on purpose. I, d I didn't set you up to drink frog. Yeah, well, if something happens to me, and it's related to salmonella, <laughs> we'll know. At least we'll know. <laughs> we just walked into the backyard, and uh, there's a rabbit. What up, little rabbit? He seems kind of friendly. Like, I mean, he's just nibbling on some, some grass, I see. Hey, little buddy. You nibbling on some grass? Yeah? Uh, the You're a youngin. Look at you. You're so cute. I've never gotten this close to Oh, there you go. Fish tacos. Those look awesome. What is that? It's a, some a, kind of wrap. Yeah, steak burger wrap. Steak burger wrap. Chicken spinach flatbread. Is that it? And um, wings and uh, chips. I've not had buffalo wild wings in a long time. Also, tomorrow we're meeting Taylor for lunch. That's wild and out of left field. Now we'll go home. We're leaving. Aww. We'll be back. No, wait. Yeah, we will, but it'll be a while. 
But that's okay. We got to go to, we're going to go back to Columbia for three weeks. Then we'll be in Wisconsin for two and a half weeks. <coughs> and then we'll come back to Columbia and then we have to move here. We may see you for Father's Day. Okay. Just to give you a clean up. And that would be good. Well, we will see you at Father's Day then. And we're back. I got to admit, um, the drive was a drive, man. Doggone. Uh, the last 30 minutes were awful. However, it was redeemed by the fact that once we got halfway to Florence, we stopped at Krispy Kreme because today was like free donut day. And we just walked in and we're like, hey, is it still free donut day even though it's like 11 p.m.? And they're like, yep, but not for much longer. And I'm like, good, you guys can tell time. And then we both got, like, free donuts. And then we left. I kind of felt bad. I was like, maybe we should purchase something. No, <laughs> we just got two free glazed donuts and left. And we ate them in the car. Yep. And then we drove here. And I was very tired. And I'm very tired. But uh, we're here now. And at this point forward, crazy time starts, man. Crazy time. Because with all that's going on, we got three weeks here. Just as a recap, we got three weeks here, then we got two and a half weeks in Wisconsin. When we get back, it'll be July 10th, and our lease runs out in two weeks from then-ish. Yeah, that's about right. Two to three weeks from then. Three weeks. Three weeks, because that would be July 31st. Okay, so three weeks. So we have three weeks when we get back from Wisconsin to move. So my goal, because we're going to be really busy when we get back, my goal, and this is crazy, this is so crazy, is to fully complete the months of June and July for the LPs. Get the, all the stuff done for the LPs. June and July, two months worth of work done in these three weeks. Do eight weeks worth of work in three weeks. Yeah, I know, it's gonna be a little absurd, but I think we can do it. If nothing else, I wanna get through like the beginning of July, because I have to, this, this part has to be done. I have to get all the way up until you know July 10th or 11th done and uploaded. That much has to be done. So that's like five weeks of work has to be done. We're aiming for eight, but we have to at least hit five. So there's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. And it's going to start by meeting Taylor tomorrow for lunch at Lizard's Thicket. Uh, he is, um, I guess he's finished with this semester, this quarter of college, um, done for the summer. And he is driving back to Michigan, uh, where he lives. And he's going through Columbia, so we're going to meet him for lunch tomorrow. So we're going to have lunch with him, and then we're going to come back and start hitting it. Uh, we got to edit the video and the photos for the wedding that we shot on Saturday, or whenever that was, last week. Wow, it's been a week. Man, we were in Myrtle Beach for a week. Anyway, uh, we got to get that done, and then it'll be, you know, crazy time. Edited, recording God of War, and the Vex Super Hostile and all this stuff. So lots of stuff to do. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to be fun. And uh, you're on break. Isn't that nice? You're on break. No more school. You're on vacation. Mm, I get to sleep in. She gets to sleep in. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Taylor and other stuff. Hey, here's a bonus, because I'm feeling generous. Uh, some of you are considerably younger than myself, and you may be in middle school, so here are some pictures of me when I was younger. Uh, this is a picture of me uh, when I was in 7th grade. I am 13 in this picture. I used to have blonde hair um, until I was 13, and at 13 it changed, that's why the tips are blonde. It's not that I did anything special, it's that my blonde hair was growing out and my brown hair was coming in. So that's at 13. Um, this is at age 14. This is 8th grade. And uh, now my hair is like completely black there. Yep. <laughs> oh, the wallet chain. Oh, good. And then this is uh, ninth grade. This is what I looked like when I was a freshman in high school.